Hi everyone, my name is Alexander Peterson. My name is Harula Samaras. Uh, so I'm Kyle Montemayor. My name is Alex Pollock. My name is Sung Khan. My name is Grace McAtee. My name is Philip Perm, and I'm a chemical engineering major. I am in Madrid, Spain. I'm currently studying abroad right now. So I chose to go to the University of Edinburgh because I wanted to go to a primarily English-speaking country. So I chose Hong Kong Uni Polytechnic University mainly because of the faculty there, in particular their environmental engineering staff. Originally I had wanted to study abroad in Europe, but I'd already been a handful of times and I wanted uh, a really new and unique experience. Hong Kong is also quite westernized, so, so it's a very unique uh, kind of melting pot of different cultures. I really wanted to go to a school in a country where things are unfamiliar to me. I was passionate about learning more about the country and the culture. I chose to study at Lund because the classes that I'm taking now fit perfectly into my four-year plan. Studying abroad wasn't going to stop me from graduating in 2019, which I thought was amazing. Well, the, the differences in the classroom compared uh, from Hong Kong Polytech compared to Maryland are very different. And here, grades aren't as available throughout the semester. At Nanyang, they rely a lot on the students teaching themselves. So I've noticed my study habits have increased actually the more, the more that I've been here. Some of the cultural differences outside of the classroom were just the way that the things that people spend their time on outside of class. Spanish people definitely take life at a much slower pace. Uh, a lot of Americans are in a rush, usually. Taking time to relax is really important to Spanish people, so I definitely took advantage of this lifestyle. I would do things like go picnic in the park with friends. The diet is very different here. I definitely have changed my diet as I've been here. I've started to cook a lot here and I've learned how much I do love cooking. I definitely learned to be independent. Uh, you know, when you're in the US over weekends, you're figuring out how am I gonna make time to study? How am I gonna make time to have fun? Whereas when uh, I'm here in Hong Kong, I think how am I gonna get to this new country or this new city? Flights are incredibly cheap and it is extremely easy to do a weekend trip or even a couple days anywhere. Like I went to Valencia, Granada, Sevilla, Malaysia, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. I do a lot of backpacking back home and so I wanted to do a lot of that here while I was in Europe. And I've actually met friends along the way. The friends I made in that program are from Singapore, Germany, Switzerland, Oman, Australia. And I found that it was Mm. Well, a very interesting experience to be able to explore Hong Kong through the eyes of an outsider as well as the eyes of an insider. If you're considering studying about in Nanyang, go. Uh, just do it. Just go to Hong Kong. So it may seem scary living away from home for five months, but it's definitely worth it. As a freshman, I thought my options were endless, and um, I realized it was such a small scale when I got here. You know, my outlook on my life has definitely changed from it in a good way.